क्लास फाइव दिस इज योर वीडियो ऑफ लेसन नंबर टेन नॉलेज इज पावर इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द स्टोरी ऑफ राइटिंग द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ पेपर एंड ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट द आर्ट ऑफ राइटिंग एंड द ब्रेली स्क्रिप्ट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद आर चैप्टर द स्टोरी ऑफ राइटिंग द स्टोरी और नेसेसिटी ऑफ राइटिंग स्टार्टेड विद द इंक्रीज नॉलेज वेन इट बिकेम वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिमेंबर एवरीथिंग इन माइंड early humans did not know how to write it took thousands of years to learn writing firstly men used to paint on the exterior and interior walls of the cave they lived in these write these writing include the pictures of animals and things many paintings have been found on the cave walls in france spain and india Nearly five thousands of years ago, the earliest pictorial script was used in Egypt and Mesopotamia, and after that, same type of script started developing in China and Japan. In India, from the period of Indian civilization, pictorial script was developed with Brahmi script. Now, here the question arises: What is a script? Usage of symbols led to the development of scripts. The word script means a system of writing. The earliest form of writing was developed by the Sumerians and ancient inhabitant and was called the cuneiform. Cuneiform means a pen made by cutting a single straw of bamboo. Egyptians used a system of hieroglyphics in which symbols were written by drawing pictures. Now let's move to the story of numbers. In early times, people used stones and small pebbles to count things. Then they started counting numbers with their fingers. After long time, the number system was invented by Indians. The numbers 1 to 9 and 0 are invented by Indians and are given the name Hinsa. by arabian traders who finally spread these numbers to the rest of the world the number 0 was invented by aryabhatta an ancient indian scientist the chinese used the abacus for counting even today the system of counting f- using fingers is prevalent the romans used seven letters of their alphabet to write numbers these were m m is for 1000 d d is for 500 c c is for 100 l l is for 50 x x is for 10 v v is for 5 and last i i is for 1 the number system we use today called the hindu arabic system the origin of paper in early times the clay tablets were used for writing with the pointed tools bark of birch tree or leaves of palm tree or the plates of copper were also used later paper was discovered discovered in egypt and was called papyrus it was made of reed skin the papyrus plant was cultivated in the delta region of the nile valley its stem was collected and the central pith cut into thin strips these strips were pressed and dried to form a smooth surface which could be used for writing now let's move to the art of printing at first books were written by hand but this was a very slow process and involved a lot of labor printing first came to be developed in china Wooden blocks were used to print books. In 1450, Johannes Gutenberg of Germany made metal molds of the letters of the alphabet. These were called types and their arrangement called typesetting. Ink was applied to the typeset pages and pressed on paper to get impressions. types could now be put together to make the page of a book which is much faster and more easier 
as compared to Chinese method using wooden blocks. After that, printing of books, newspapers and magazines etc. became possible and thus John Scutterberg made a revolution in the field of spreading knowledge. Now let's talk about Braille script or the book for blind. Louis Braille developed a special script called the Braille script. It uses a pattern of raised small dots to represent different words onto a thick paper. The visually handicapped person can feel the raised dots or holes using higher fingertips and read the words. Today, books and Braille typewriters are being used. So students, all these achievements help us to gain and education. Education is the key to progress and we should give importance to education. Thank you.